Hey guys, welcome back to another Protector.net tutorial. Today we're going to be talking about time zones. All the various types of time zones, what they are used for, and how to configure them. Time zones are schedules, at the end of the day. Various devices such as doors, elevators, and users have different time zones. This is because some schedules support different modes than others and have different restrictions as to how many transitions can occur in a single day. There are four different types of main time zones. Door time zones, which are door schedules that define how a door behaves and what types of credentials it will accept. User time zones, which are schedules that define what times during a day a user can have access to a door or floor. Floor time zones, which are floor schedules that define how elevator floors behave and what type of credentials it will accept. Input and output time zones are schedules that can be used with I.O. boards. One-time run time zones are special one-time schedules that can change how a door or elevator floor behaves. The last type of time zone is the holiday time zone. Each type of time zone has a holiday time zone, which can be used if a door, elevator, or user schedule should be different on a holiday. We'll talk more about those in the holiday tutorial. Let's start by creating a new door time zone. Just like with most other time zones, we have default time zones. So these are pre-cam ones that we make for you when you install the system. They cover a wide variety of real-world applications. You can use these or modify them to suit your needs. For this example, we need to create a door time zone that will keep the door unlocked from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. To start, we'll click the Add button on the Door Time Zones page. We'll give a descriptive name to our new time zone and select a partition. If more than one partition is selected, this time zone will be replicated across any of them. Alright, so now we're down to the second section here, called Schedule. On the bottom here, you can see the color-coded legend for each mode that a door can be in during a schedule. The mode the door is in will define what type of credential it accepts. The modes are locked down, in which case the door will be in a locked state, uh, exit buttons and whatnot won't work, and uh, only users that are supervisors or masters would be able to get through it. Card only, the classic, the door will accept any card presentations. We have pin only, card or pin, card and pin, unlock, so the door will be in a public schedule. First credential in, the door will be in locked state until a specific person or persons present their card to the door, in which case it will unlock for the rest of the schedule. And finally, dual credential, so they would need two credentials to get through the door, optionally one of them needing to be a supervisor user. To get started adding time spans to the schedule, click on the yellow bar on any day of the week. I usually pick Monday. Alright, so this will bring up the time zone editor. So the first section here is the mode for the entire day or whatever you have selected. So we can change the entire the mode for the entire day here. We'll just leave it as card for now. And the second section of the time zone editor here is for adding spans. So we'll use the start button here to select 8 a.m. Perfect. And then we'll stop at 5 p.m. Or 59 to be more precise. And this mode drop down here is for the mode that we're going to add. So we'll make this one unlock, and then click the add button. Alright, we can click this button up here to make the time zone editor go away. And if this looks good, we can actually click and drag this to an additional day, have it replicated. Or we can take this a step further by dragging this to one of the boxes on the top of the screen here. In this case, weekdays. Alright, and once your schedule looks good, you just click the save button on the bottom of the screen. So now the schedule is available to be used by any doors. If we navigate to the edit door page for our door, you'll see that our new time zone is now available on our list. The second most important time zone are user time zones. These are the user schedules. Uh, they're a little simpler than door time zones since they only have one available mode. You're either allowed or not allowed during a particular time. Let's just add one as an example. 
access in AM to noon. Select 8 AM here and 11.59 AM. We'll like to see the entire week. Save. And now that we've added that user time zone, we're going to see that in any drop down menus if we're adding any access privilege groups. That concludes this tutorial. If you want to learn more about time zones, be sure to check out the applicable chapter in the software guide.